adds a little bit of a kick to your recipe. But if you're one of those people that's on a low sodium diet, you want no salt, it doesn't hurt it too bad. Why would you a culinary teacher? Okay. So, what's my next thing? What's my next thing? One fourth cup of flaxseed. Quarter cup of flaxseed. This is my flaxseed, which is already ground. You can buy the seeds whole in the store, and then you have to grind them in a coffee grinder or some light food processing grinder. I don't know, whatever you have. Uh, but I bought this all ground up, so it looks like that stuff that was coming out of the shovel last time. This is a quarter of a cup? Yeah. I don't have the quarter of a cup one, as we established, so I will fill my half cup. Halfway. Halfway. There we go. Oh, someone's a mathematician. Someone is good with math in this class. Unfortunately, right. it's not you. Flaxseed is good for you because it has omega-3 fatty acids. That's the wonderful stuff you get from fish. It's a stuff in fish. That's probably why the lady at your church uses it, because it's got, and it's so healthy, it's got the omega-3s in it. So pretty much it's from fish. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not, it's not from fish. It's not, it's not taste like fish. You can't grow fish. All right, what else do I need? What's my next one? Quarter cup cornmeal. Same thing, I'm going to do half of a half, and that's a quarter. Okay, that looks like half. Alright, what's my next step? Now in a separate mold, you gotta mix the eggs, the milk, and vegetable oil. Okay, I do that and then when you cook it. Okay. I'm gonna do I don't have a separate bowl. So you're just gonna do it in there? So I'm gonna sift these things into here and then sifting them gets all these things together. Let's return to our PowerPoint slide here now that we're back on track and we can kind of talk about these things as they relate to essays. So, use the right ingredients. No wasabi in these waffles. We do not substitute baking soda with a little bit of flour. You gotta have the right stuff so that your waffle comes out good so that when you're making an argument, it is complete and makes sense. So, get all the ingredients together in a bowl. We've got them all in the sifter. This is the stage we're at right now. We're going to sift them all together because you want all of your ingredients mixed together well. If you have separate ingredients, they're not contributing to that overarching idea, which is either your waffle or your thesis. So we want them all mixed together really smoothly. So we're going to do that, and then we're putting things in so they go together nicely. And this is matching up again with your things in your packets. If you've got that packet out, you can look and follow along. So we're going to put them in so they go together well, and we measured things out appropriately. We didn't have a cup and a half of baking soda and then a teaspoon of flour. We got the right amounts, because some things are just more important than others when it comes to a waffle. All right, and an essay. So here we go, I'm sifting. And that skips it all mixed up nice. I've never even seen one of those. Yeah, I know. You've never seen a sifter? No. Oh, it, it kind of, it's mixing up, it's mixing up the flaxseed and the sugar and the baking soda and the baking powder. So that then when I stir it, they're already kind of evenly mixed. Pass it around the room so that can study it. You want to study it? I don't want to. Yes, we should study our thesis and read it before we So you want to study this because it's like studying your thesis? Okay, hold on one second. I've just got to get... You need to know all the facts. You need to preheat your awful iron man. I do, but I'm not at that stage yet where I need to worry about it. Oh, okay. I would get there. Okay. There's that stuff. I could have sifted it. It wouldn't have hurt, but I didn't. Okay. So I'll show you. This is what it looks like when it's all sifted. Sifted. This is sifted stuff. Did you guys see the sifted stuff? We have two guys over here. We have ten minutes left. Sifted stuff. So ten minutes? Yeah. Oh, we can do this. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get five waffles out of that. Are you ready? Oh, I'm gonna get eight waffles out of that. You're just not ready yet. So transitions. Transitions are like our wet ingredients. Transitions, oops, and our wet ingredients make the flour and the sugar and the baking soda and the baking powder and the flaxseed all work together. If I tried to stir this right now and then put it in 
the pot or in the waffle iron, it would, do it. it would burn flour and it would be gross and disgusting and absolutely nothing you would want to eat. So these help me to mix together my ingredients. So the wet ingredients are like transitions. They lead into each other so that one idea leads to the next. We're all set. How many? One and a half. One and a half. Okay. Cups. There's one. And so the half. Oops. Next pass might be in trouble. I'm lower on milk. All right. And then how much oil? One, one tablespoon. One tablespoon. Sounds good. Just eyeball it like Rachel does. I'm not, I'm not gonna eyeball it like that. Like Rachel does. It's okay. So she uses E B O L. Yeah, E B O L. What does Rachel Ray use? E B O L. Extra virgin olive oil. Oh, extra virgin olive oil is very good. This is just vegetable oil. Yes. However, you don't want to use extra virgin olive oil if you're frying things because then it's something about frying it and heating it up faster makes it bad for you. Okay. So my transitions. My wet ingredients are going to make everything flow together smoothly, and that will be wonderful. So I've just got to stir it. You want to make sure you break up your yolk. So when you stir these things together, you want to make sure that everything is blended smoothly. You want to make sure that all of your ingredients are dispersed evenly. Same thing with writing an essay. If you're writing an essay, and there's clumps of things in there, like you've got an argument that kind of stands on its own and isn't working with the other arguments, that's going to come off weird. It's not going to be good. Same thing with this. If I don't mix all the flour in evenly or I don't mix the yolk in evenly, you're going to take a bite and get a lot of yolk or get a lot of flour, and that is not a waffle. A waffle is evenly mixed, just like an essay. So you'll notice... You'll notice on your sheet it says that I need to let these set for 10 minutes. Why does it want me to let them set for 10 minutes? So the baking soda can settle. So the baking soda can settle. And that'll give us a more well-rounded, nice, fluffy waffle. I don't have time for that, though, because I procrastinated. I procrastinated and did not start my essay soon enough. And so now I don't have time to let it sit, and then I could think about it, and then read it over again and make corrections. Instead... I just got to turn it right in, and I'm going to come out with a flatter essay, and we're going to get slightly flatter waffles. But sometimes it's better because you could add something in there that doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay. So I've got this mixed. Like cinnamon. I've got this mixed evenly, and we can add other things. You add cinnamon. You add these those little special touches, which are always great. Yeah, you didn't add any vanilla. So I did not add vanilla. I could have, but I did not. I want more cherries. All right. So I've got this mixed. Next thing I'm going to do. Let's heat up the waffle. Oh, I do have to heat up the waffle iron. Yeah, I told you that like six minutes ago. Oh, okay. So uh, I'm done with my gloves, so I don't have the two ingredients anymore. Alright, I'll put those in there too. Okay. Let's see if I, can. I bet people looked at him funny this morning. <laughs> Wait, why do you have a waffle iron? Is that okay? That's okay. Yeah. Alright. Next step. Quotations. Oh. Using quotations. No, I didn't no, put those in there. Oh, oh, no, oh, don't worry. You're gonna ruin it. You gotta have faith. No. Don't. You gotta have faith. You're gonna ruin it. Okay. I love cranberries. No. Right, so, I'm gonna yeah. laugh at you. Why? You gotta have faith. Quotations are like cranberries. Now, these cranberries have the potential to make these waffles be wonderful. No. Which is what's going to happen. Horrible. I'm going to tell you why. Why? Cranberries, cran raisins, if you're familiar with them, have a sweet but slightly tart taste. Waffles, which you should be familiar with, have a very sweet and nice, fluffy, beautiful taste. Now, I can make the sweet, beautiful, fluffy taste of the waffles even better by putting in a few cranberries, which will give you a little tart taste, and then you'll appreciate the sweet taste of the waffle a little bit more. Oh, yeah, put a lot in there. The, the difficult thing, though, is you've got to get the right balance of craisins into the waffle mix. If I put too many, you're just going to bite the waffle, and it's going to be just tart cranberry, and you won't get the sweet, fluffy waffle, which is what we want. That's, this no. is mainly waffles. We're making waffles, not cranberries. So don't over detail it. So, yeah, you don't over detail it. Don't put too many quotations.